Ah, hey, great. You just gotta love it when your water's crunchy. Ah, that's how you know it's good. The browner it is, the better it is. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash, well, that sucks. And if you've had watching my videos throughout the past week, you've kind of noticed that each video is a little different from the last, because I'm trying to figure out in myself what works well for the channel, because I'm honestly not sure myself. So if you have seen something that you would like to talk about and mention it down below, because I would love to hear what you guys like seeing from my channel. But without further ado, let's get right into this. Fruity Pops unfroze and then froze on the stick side. Eh, that's okay. Just peel back the wrapper and give it the good suck. Because I'll let you know right now, I've been able to speed run this in a matter of five minutes. Ah, uh, yes, the forbidden pizza pocket. You know, I gotta say, I'm honestly really hoping that everyone is alright. It's very unfortunate for all this stuff, but at least it was only a Grand Cherokee, because that's like the soccer mom of the Jeeps. Insurance should be able to cover it, so everybody turned out alright. You know, having seen this and in the comments, it actually has a link to a whole subreddit for these called r slash spicy pillows. I honestly am amazed that nobody's really gotten hurt from these. Oh uh, boy. Uh, hey, hey, uh, gym staff. Gym staff, you might want to get on this now. You know what's gotta really suck is in this day and age of having to stay clean constantly and you're allergic to the sanitizer? I honestly had no idea that people could actually be allergic to this stuff. I mashed the taters and the taters wound. This is why you get metal products. Tree fell on your trampoline, you know what? Don't even get mad about it, just go in to return it. That's a faulty product. The tree should have bounced back up when it landed on the trampoline. Oh boy, um, yeah, I went to the bathroom, number two, you ran, didn't even notice you didn't have any toilet paper. It looks like you're gonna have to make a friend. You know, I've likely already covered this in a past video, but if you fail at bananaing, that's a sign just restart your whole day. I'm sorry guys, I have to call out, I did not banana right. Okay, you know if something's side by side, uh, you know one got mixed up with the other, um, and I can't be the only one that read that as nippy care. You got a Roomba, it got jealous, broke your mirror, now guess what, you're gonna have seven years of technical difficulties with you, hope you got the extended warranty, dude. Okay, so the dude broke his foot zip lining, and in addition to that being questioned of how that's possible, one of the comments, one of them was a smartass and said, walk it off. Hey man, don't you just love it when you want to heat up some buffalo sauce in the microwave, can't find a lid, and accidentally make the Nickelodeon? and splat icon go on prove me wrong you know maybe your vehicle didn't just buckle its front tire maybe it's got an incredible turning radius yeah try to sell it as that you might be able to make some money back instead of having to pay those thousand dollars of repairs you spend so much time preparing for a trip to go see london and big ben and everything just to find out it's it's under construction and well other people's kind of said you probably should have looked ahead to see the status of the everything uh but i mean if you're going to london you don't really need to look up the weather because it's uh it's always the cloudy except for three days but that's impossible to plan no oh, hey look it's my friends from that Facebook group where we all pretend to be ants. Lift! I am so sorry for anybody wearing headphones right now. What? Oh, come on. You said you wanted a side of ranch. You didn't specify an amount. Why would they ever need to fill up a serving size cup? Quit stealing or letters. <laughs> I'll do it again. I can't be the only one that saw this and thought that there would be an infinite loop of excavators pulling excavators out of this hole. Then again, the driver must be a professional clencher now. See, now this is another reason I just honestly hate mailmen in general. It's because they can read addresses, but they can't read words like do not or bend. Just like, oh, hey, what, this is fragile? It has an animal inside of it? Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, man, I was just shucking the corn, and I think I got one with an STD on it. I'll just call this one Corn Midia. Oh, boy, poor Gooby. Um, this is gonna be one heck of a thing to clean up. Uh, just heads up, that's not peanut butter. I mean, heck, the pizza guy might have tripped bringing the pizza up to the door, but it's still all in the box, so, I mean, I would get a fork and knife and eat it. Look, I know Oh, it doesn't have to be perfect in order to be enjoyable, but it's still a pizza. At this point to me, it's no different than a lasagna. Okay, you know what? Tripping with the pizza still in the box, that's understandable. Deliberately putting the cup in the cheese to kind of give it some kind of river uh, while there's corners? No, somebody's getting fired for this. This actually does, however, remind me of an instance I had when I was working at this own pizza place. So basically, the person ordered one of those cinnamon sticks with the icing on top of it, but then complained about not getting enough icing. Meanwhile, I am an icing addict, so I kind of loaded that up already. So basically, when we sent out the next one i loaded it up with so much icing you would think it was a lonely guy after no nut november happened fortunately they didn't complain okay now i'm just honestly wondering what the heck is wrong with people and not knowing how to carry a box like i know it's not rocket science but pizza boxes shouldn't need arrows that say this side up 
Oh boy, uh, I, I don't even know how you staple your own hands, like, oh boy. You know what, let me know down below, is this worse than stepping on a Lego, or is stepping on a Lego worse than this? You tried dating this one girl from online dating, she cheated on you, and then vandalized your Shelby GT500, dude, I feel for you, then no, that... That is absolutely horrible, and honestly, I hope that police are involved in this. That is an absolutely beautiful car, and I wish I had one. Honestly, I, I do. Seriously, I'm like one of the 12 people that actually liked the 2008 Knight Rider reboot. Okay, I've just come to realize that a bunch of these photos are just gonna be nanner fails and pizza drops. Uh, like, seriously, why? What's wrong with people not being able to banana? See, I'm kind of wondering, is it weird that when I saw this, I envisioned really, really small rolls of flex tape being able to fix this? That would be a fantastic marketing plan. Flex tape, John, look, if, if you're watching this, or call me, okay? Got a new stove, but you burnt it. Actually, that's still pretty edible, but I can understand and new appliances being more powerful than you expect. I honestly remember a new grill, like, for three times in a row. We kept messing it up, so we had to go get Mission Barbecue. Actually, it wasn't that bad. Try the pulled chicken with the mac and cheese. It's actually really good. Your fortune is no fortune. No fortune cookie for you. See, the thing about that is that the gummy bears in the jar melded under heat into some big abomination thing from Stephen King blob. However, with those being CBD gummies, that would be pretty nice. Okay, you know what? I gotta say, whoever owns that boat your parking sucks. Whoever's towing the vehicle, that is absolutely amazing. I had no idea you could not only tow a truck, but tow a truck that's towing a trailer with a boat on it. This is single-handedly gotta be one of the best posts I've seen on this subreddit so far. Like, this is absolutely amazing. Oh, and for the guy that owns the boat, get bent. Everybody knows how to park a trailer right, you're just ignorant. Okay, the only thing I could really say to protect your giant dairy chocolate bar is stick that thing back in the freezer. Like, chocolate is one of the few things that can melt, and then it, when you freeze it, it goes right back to its original form. So, don't get your hands sticky, just chill that stuff. Made it to the top of a mountain in Switzerland, what in the world were you expecting? I've been to the top of the mountains in the Netherlands, and I've been able to have a snowball fight in August. Seriously though, if you ever get to go to any places like this, the 45 degree incline trolley is awesome. Anyone want a bacon wrapped bra? Bacon wrapped bra? $10. Going once? Going twice? Nope, $15. Bacon wrap bra. Okay, look, all I know is someone had a party. Meanwhile, whoever posted this, I know you were hoping for a fish, um, but, uh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Dude, I hope your insurance covers this, because any competent place with a vehicle lift would have done a little bump test when it was like six inches off of the ground to make sure that it's secure. As for what I actually think about the G-Wagon, though, eh, it's marketed as an off-roading vehicle, but you barely ever see them off the road. I do really love this old Mercedes, though, and I think I have a model of one somewhere that I wanted one as a kid. Seriously, gullwing doors and everything. You chipped your tooth on an Oreo. Um, okay, either you need more calcium or the military wants to talk to whoever made that Oreo. Ah, oh boy, you got mad, you threw your controller on your desk, the controller bounced off the desk, and hit your TV. Uh, that's kinda on you, dude. Like, seriously, there was every other way you could've thrown the controller, but nope towards the TV. I know games might be hard, but there's not worth destroying stuff over. Okay, it's one thing to have counterfeit money on you and try to buy stuff with it. It's another thing to have something like this where you know the only reason you have this is because you want to piss somebody off. Because seriously, the only reason stuff like this is ever made is because somebody knows that this is going to piss somebody off and make them upset and everything, and apparently that gives them some joy out of it. Look, dude, I know this kind of sucks. You missed it. You are really looking forward to all the eights lining up. But you know what? You just got to do it all over again, lengthen the mileage, and do another, uh, what is it, 800,000 miles? If it's a hybrid, it should only cost like, what, a buck fifty to get there? This reminds me, I gotta keep track of my mileage when the Gladiator gets to 80,000 and 85 miles. Cause you know, I'm an immature little giggly shit. See, again, with the whole climbing to the tippy top of a mountain and getting surprised when there's clouds there, what did you expect? Just in a nutshell, if you're either climbing to the tippy top of a mountain or going to London, do not be surprised when you see clouds there, okay? Oh, great, I'm using almost the same software. Can't wait for my anxiety to spike. Yep, here it is. I actually do remember a while back, I honestly tried to be a commentary channel, but there were so many big guys out there that it honestly never took off. Uh, and just seeing this it reminds me of the times when I would be almost done with a video and then something would go wrong and I can't render it. This just, the oh boy. Okay, you know what? I can't eat in peace with this dang rat with wings watching me. I am also fairly certain that pigeons and seagulls are the same Pokemon, just from different regions. Go on, try to prove me wrong. When have you ever seen a pigeon and a seagull in the same place? Hey man, what happened? A bird pooped on your car? No, bird just melted on my car. Is this what it's like to live in Arizona? Does it just get so hot, birds just start melting onto your vehicles? And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you had liked what you had seen and want to see more of this, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below what you liked about the video, and if you have not already 
already, subscribe, and turn on those Taco Bell notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.